For a book that I have enjoyed, I chose The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. The worlds of Brandon Sanderson's books are always very imaginative, with deep-reaching history and cultures that are different from our own, yet still grounded enough in reality to be familiar and believable. Roshar, the world of the Stormlight Archives, is established in The Way of Kings, the first book in a ten-volume series. It has a class structure based on eye color, with the peasant class being the dark eyes and the aristocracy being the bright eyes. Bright eyes behave much like European nations have in the past, constantly having small wars with each other over petty things like territory boundaries or political slights, with the occasional larger and disastrous war thrown in. These two factors alone set the stage for a believable world, because we've seen racism and petty wars in our own world. But there's so much more to the book than that. The story is mainly told from the perspective of a suspiciously skilled and suspiciously unlucky Dark Eyes soldier. Yet it often shifts for a chapter to the viewpoints of seemingly unrelated people whose experiences all hint that something more is going on behind the scenes. I found myself having many questions about the history of Roshar, but they weren't the kind of questions that left me frustrated about not knowing the answer. Instead, I was excited to discover more of the lore, and the satisfaction from being able to piece together what was going on in the world based on what had happened in its past was enough to keep me engaged throughout a book that was so long it could easily have gotten stale. Even though it was almost four years ago that I read the book, I'm still impressed with how Brandon Sanderson was able to so fluidly give me the information I needed to solve my questions without actually telling me many of the answers. A book that I am looking forward to reading is The Games by Ted Kosmatka. It is a standalone science fiction slash horror novel in which a team of scientists set out to genetically engineer an unbeatable combatant for the Olympic Gladiator competition, an internationally sanctioned blood sport with only one rule. No entrance may possess human DNA. It sounds like a slightly silly idea, however, I feel like it could be a thought-provoking story on how scientific knowledge could easily outpace scientific wisdom, if the author is able to create a plausible foundation and maintain continuity throughout.